Hi everyone, it's your girl July and today I will be showing you guys my second and only Chanel bag and it is this beauty right here. Wow! This is the Chanel Timeless CC Pochette and she is pink caviar leather, gold hardware and I will just be showing you the little details of her. So much like her larger counterpart, which is the Chanel Timeless CC Hobo that you see right here in the corner, she is also a nearly vintage Y2K baby um, because they were both released in the same year, which was 2003, 2004. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about her. She has the pocket on the back. She has Chanel written on the pull tab and the CC logo on the back. And then we just open her like so. And what I love about this bag is that it actually has a pink interior, unlike my Chanel Hobo over here, which is a beige lining. This one has a pink lining and that just makes it so much more cute to me. Um, so yeah, you open this up and there is a zip pocket inside. Unfortunately, this one does not have the authentication card, but it does have this little care booklet in all different kinds of languages. So just put that back here. Inside it says Chanel made in Italy. And if you pull out the lining a little bit, you can see the uh, code that's inside here. So the measurements for this beauty is 10 inches across, six inches in height, a little over an inch over here at the top and two at the bottom so it tapers down a little bit towards the top and uh oh my gosh i just love this bag a fun fact is that paris hilton actually has this exact same bag and i found a couple photos of her wearing it in the early 2000s that makes this bag just a little more special for me because i love paris hilton I would consider this a rare Chanel piece just because you can't really find any of these on the internet and the ones that do exist are either in horrendous condition or they're just crazy overpriced. When it comes to this beauty, looks can be deceiving. She doesn't seem like she would fit a whole lot, especially because of the width of the bag but trust me when i say that she fits everything that you might need and more and i will show you guys a little demonstration of what fits in my bag one by one i will be placing different items inside that i would need so starting with my wallet slash card holder we're just gonna place that right in here then i have my phone yes i know it's outdated but it's been serving me pretty good. A lipstick, of course. Oh my god. She's fine. Then we have a pair of sunglasses. Lip balm. Yes, I know this is a contact case, but this is like a beauty hack, which is to buy a contact case and put like cocoa butter or Vaseline or any like beauty product that you might want to have on you without taking the full size thing. So that's my little thing of cocoa butter. Then we have a little pack of tissues. So just put that right in here. I know what this looks like, but this is a miniature perfume. <laughs> Pack of gum. And of course, keys. Now, all of this fits with some extra room at the top. So let me just close that up. Ta-da! Amazing, perfect, beautiful, wonderful.
this bag to me is like Mary Poppins bag. It fits so much. Like there's room even on the sides and at the top to add more things, but I don't even know what else I would add because this is kind of, this is everything. <laughs> Now for a mod shot, I'll show you guys what she looks like on. I've also seen different color versions of this bag in a black, a white, a maroon, and a pink, of course. There's only one con that I see in this bag, which is that the chain creates sort of an oxidization that it leaves on the leather. So if you look really closely, you will see some black marks on the leather here. So what I'll do every once in a while is take a Q-tip with some leather cleaner and just gently buff it away. Otherwise, I think this bag is so perfect, so cute. I am absolutely in love and I'm glad that I have both of them in my collection. If you've been interested in this bag and you see one that you're considering, I highly, highly recommend it. I know it's not a classic bag, but it'll be a lot less expensive than one of the classics and it is vintage. And everyone is saying how vintage bags in Chanel are a lot better quality than the ones that they're producing nowadays. So if you're thinking about it, I say absolutely go for it. This bag is amazing. It's really perfect and ideal. I like that this part is um, thin so that it can fit really comfortably right under the arm. The drop length is perfect also. So yeah. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I do have an Instagram if anyone's interested. It's at your girl July. And uh, love you guys and see you in the next one. Mwah.